Good morning, this is Duane. Today we're going to take a look at how to improvise using chords. Improvise, of course, means to make up your own music. And a lot of beginners would like to improvise, but they just don't know where to start. So I'm going to try to give you uh, just a simple formula for improvising using the chords of the song that you're playing. Uh, first of all, you, you need to know what the chords are, of course. Let's say you're playing Blue Moon. You know the song that goes... Goes like this. Blue moon. You've probably heard that. You've heard that, okay? And it's the 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 theme of it is just four chords. It's the C chord, the A minor chord, the D minor chord, and the G seventh chord, okay? So the melody, the rhythm of the melody goes like this. Okay, now wh what I'd like you to do is to take those, take the chords, like the C chord, except don't use the melody, but use the rhythm of the melody. Instead of, instead of playing blue, that rhythm but use different notes for example don't start on G so start on B maybe you see that I use the same rhythm exactly da 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 okay and what did I do with the with the uh, with the melody I use the notes of the chord or scale notes. And by the way, that's all melodies are made out of. They're either made out of scale fragments, part of a scale, or a broken chord. That's, those are the only two possibilities, okay? Of course, it could be different kinds of scales, like chromatic scales and so on, but you only have those two possibilities, either a broken chord or a scale fragment, okay? Now let's do the same thing this time, but, but start on... Uh, I'm going to start on B. Say it'll start on E this time. See, same rhythm. See that? That was very simple, very easy, uh, and it wasn't very exciting, but that's where you start, okay? Just take, take the notes of a chord, first of all, and just use the notes of the chord uh, or the notes of the scale. Let me just do the notes of the chord this time, okay? And this is going to sound really boring, but and I'll use the same rhythm, but you'll get the idea. See that? I used the notes of whatever chord was in force. If the if the C chord was in force, I used notes either the C, E, or G notes. Okay. If A minor was in force, I used just the notes of the A minor chord. If D minor was in, in force, I used just the notes of the D minor chord. If G was in force, I used just the notes of the G chord. Okay. Now that sounds very simple, and it, it is really simple, and it'll be boring pretty soon. So you want to, after you get that down, then you want to mix in scale notes uh, with that, okay? So uh, just remember that, though. There's only two things you can make a melody out of. That's either a broken chord or a scale fragment, okay? Now we're going to pursue this tomorrow again, and, and for several sessions because I want to take it much, much more advanced, but that's just a place to start, how to improvise using chords. So this is section one. So thanks for being with me, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.